been murdered in Roanoke this year. 22 of them were killed by gun violence. Roanoke police shared statistics today at the Gun Violence Prevention Commission meeting. We're seeing nearly a 43% increase in gun violence incidents in this last year alone. WFXR's Rianne Lowndes was there to hear what the city is doing to handle all this violence. She also spoke to locals to find out where they believe the problem lies. She joins us now live from the newsroom. Rianne. Yeah, guys, let's start with that commission meeting. They kickstarted some new work groups. They also announced a new youth violence assessment, all efforts in hopes to pinpoint some of the issues going on. It's also where interim police chief Jerry Stokes shared some of those statistics. 53 cases of assault or death by gunfire in Roanoke this year. And they feel that that's the first thing that to do is to grab a gun and take somebody's life. And they don't understand that you're taking away somebody's son, somebody's dad, somebody's daughter, somebody's mother. Roanoke police say nearly 70% of cases are happening in the Northwest neighborhood and impact the black community. 77% of the total number of uh, Gun violence incidents, homicides involve African American men. James Lee Turner lives in the Melrose neighborhood. His friend died in a double murder Sunday. You got people that's really dying out here. Like, I mean, really dying out here. Like I said, I was just affected by a friend of mine dying the night before last. On Melrose Avenue this weekend on September 17th, there were two victims there. About a mile from that scene in a Melrose Avenue barber shop, Turner talks to youth about the gun violence. I've asked the questions in here to kids, what will cause you to pick up a gun and shoot somebody? And it's been a couple of explanations why. Some people say the music. Some people say that, yo, you're not going to embarrass me on, 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 on this thing, on live. He says growing up, he had free basketball, football. I don't mind as a devil's playground. And mentors. We, we had great mentors. All of these kids are not bad. They just need something. They, they want discipline. They want structure. They want rules. But if nobody's giving it to them, or if nobody's paying attention to their needs, then they're going to get or grab the first thing that's going to make them feel like that they have some type of power. First Impressions Barbershop is involved in the community, offering free back-to-school haircuts for kids, as well as mentorship in the chair. Live in the newsroom, Marine Lounge, WFXR News.